Welcome to September's Lead Code Challenge. Today's problem is sum of root to leaf binary numbers. Given a binary tree, each node has value 0 or 1. Each root to leaf path represents a binary number starting with the most significant bit. For example, if the path is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, then this is going to be represented by 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary, which equals 13. Now for all the leaves in the tree, consider the numbers represented by the path from the root to the leaf. And we want to return the sum of these numbers. So traversing um, our binary tree isn't the hard part here. It's passing along our values. And at the very end, converting that into a number and adding it to some variable. So let's think about how we could do that. Uh, we can do a typical pre-order traversal and just write a function that's going to travel our tree and pass along our path in a string format as we go along. And once we hit a leaf, we'll convert that to a number and we'll add it to our total. Uh, so what to do there, I'll create a function. I'll call that pre-order. And I'm going to pass in the node as well as a string and we'll just call that binary. Now I need to initialize a variable here, call that self.total. And this is going to be that variable, kind of like a global variable outside of our pre-order traversal. And it's going to be the typical thing where we say, if not node, just return. Then we will travel um, to the left. And we're going to have to pass along our binary plus the node's value as a string. And this is going to give us the path in order like we append it. And same thing here, we do a pre-order, but to the node.write, the same value, we pass it along the binary, the node.value. Finally, once we get out of this, we want to check to see if we're at a leaf. So if not node.left and not node.write, this means we're at a leaf, right? So then all we need to do is take whatever binary path that we've traversed on and convert that to an integer what you'll do is uh, you can use the integer function and pass along 2, which makes it a binary, and just add that to our self-total. Once we finish that, we should just be able to return our self-total. So what I'll do is run our pre-order on the root, pass in a blank string, and then return the self.total. So that's it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Make sure that works. And that's it. So we're just traversing our tree, pre-order traversal, and um, adding our total binary number to this self variable at the very end. Now, you could avoid doing this. Sometimes it's considered cheating to initialize like a variable outside. So to do that, we'd have to make it like a more of a recursive thing. Um, so what you could do then is still do the same format, but once we add a leaf, we were going to return this value. Uh, otherwise, we're going to return whatever is the sum of these two. And we have to make sure that we return zero here, otherwise we'll get some sort of error. And if we did this, then we just need to return the result of this function, right? So let me just make sure that works. That works as well. And there we go. Uh, so as far as time complexity goes, I believe it's O of N uh, with what? O of H space complexity, which is the height of the tree. Um, there's various ways you could do this. You could also use a Q uh, but the logic of it would pretty much be the same. And and yeah, there's probably other approaches, but it's always going to be some variation of this where we um, have to tr travel the entire tree and store the sum of the um, root to leaf paths. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.